Me. Me. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on these terrain hunting blinds I have behind me, how I got them set up, what modifications I had to make to them to make them work for me, and do a review on what I think is good about them, what I don't think is good about them, and we'll get into it here in a second. I'll show you the first one I got here. The first one right next to me just has gun shoot windows in it. And I'm going to have to modify it. I'll show you. If you look inside of them, they're nice and spacious. I do like that about them. You can put two chairs in there. Plenty of room for two people to hunt. This one just has the shooting windows in it for a gun. One next to it here. I'll show you the modifications I made to it. To fit my needs I'm gonna to have to modify this one I'll end up having to put a board underneath the here underneath this window to rest the gun on it's my wife and kids when they shoot I like them to have a good rest I've made them modifications to this blind over here this one here also has the bow shooting windows in it but you can see on the outside here I put a stiffener right there next to the window because in the cold weather these like to shrink down and then the windows warp so if you don't stiffen them up like that you're not going to be happy but stiffening them up like that and then I put this board here to stiffen the whole thing on the outside and then I put this underneath the window for a shooting rail it's right at the window height because that's a thin piece of plastic there otherwise and it's not a very good gun rest and I just went down that corner there I'd done that to all the sides I'll take you around the back here See, I'd done that all the way around. And with that modifications right there, you can open them windows pretty silently. Each one of the hinges, I had to put a drop of 3-in-1 oil in them just to quiet the hinges down a little bit. In Iowa, you have to have blaze orange on them for sh regular shotgun seasons. So I put that on there for them while I take my wife and kids to do that. And on the inside of this one here, if you look in the corners there, on the inside I put a strip of 2x4 up them to make it less wobbly. Another thing you want to do too if you're going to haul these down a road in a trailer like this, they come with wing nuts on them and the wing nuts like to vibrate loose. I actually lost the center cap of the roof off of one of these but I found it back so I use nylock lock washer nuts on them right now and there's plenty of room in there for shooting a bow out of sitting in a chair there's a lot of room you could still stand up in them and shoot out of them the one I have back in my food plot back in the timber is just like this one but I got it eight feet up in the air on a platform with steps going up to it and I really like that elevated up in the air but these here I have both of them on trailers so I can haul them and put them wherever I want them and I will take some artificial Christmas trees to these and put in the corners there and it really helps blend them in if you put them in a fence line to an open field or even in the timber it really helps hide them and the deer get used to them after a week or two of being out the there. Hunting hut here. They just got two little tabs here over the windows. You put a little bit of three in one oil on these hinges right down here. And you're sitting in here. And you see a deer, I usually just latch one of them when I'm hunting. So you can just quietly open that window up. And once I get that support out here to rest the gun on it'll be a great hunting blind you can adjust these chairs in here up and down so that you're sitting at the right level that's what I like about these chairs 
and they roll around in here. I rolled around in this. I mean, it's a little bit noisy, but not terrible. And I just rolled around in it. So then just close them back up. I usually leave just one like that when I'm hunting. That way I can open it up without moving a whole lot. You just take and turn one, quietly open it. But when you first get them, keep in mind these hinges here, they need just a drop of oil and that really, really makes them quiet. Kids can move around a little bit in here and not spook the deer away. My kids I take them youth hunting. They'll usually take their video games with them or something, play video games while they're sitting in here on their phone. And it gives them something to do while you're waiting for the deer. As, and don't forget to take kids out hunting and fishing. Get them out in the outdoors. It's better than a lot of other things that they can be doing. One other thing I do like about these blinds is they got a really big door on them. This one's sitting on a trailer. I usually put a box down here to stand on and you step up in. And you can see, whoops, they're really easy to get in and out of because they got a nice big door on them. Once I get them stiffeners on there, this thing will jump around like that. And this one here, all I do is block it up with blocks. But this trailer here, I'll show you what I done on this trailer. I put a 2x6 small short piece on the ground and this box here to keep the other part. If you look, that's just a piece of square tubing with holes drilled in it. You can buy them that way and I welded a plate on the back to bolt it to the trailer. Then you just take this other piece I got here, it's got holes drilled in both sides. You stick it down in there. You run the crank of the trailer down, it'll raise this up. And then you just take this bolt. Put it through there like that and I put a nut on it. And then you crank the front of the trailer back up and it puts pressures on these, gets the wheels off the ground. You do the same thing in all four corners and it really, really makes it solid to hunt out of. So I just put that box on the back of this one here just to store wooden blocks and all the components it takes to jack it up and make it good and solid. I'm gonna do that to that other one yet too because it works really well. So my overall review of the terrain blind for what you pay for them, I think it's a great value, but you have to stick a little bit extra money in them, getting treated two by fours and other boards to put on the outside to brace them up so that they're good and solid. I really like hunting out of them. I put a Mr. Buddy heater on the inside of them. You stay nice and warm. And then what I do when I'm hunting to really help conceal the scent in them is I usually only open up one window and I open it in the direction I think the deer are going to be coming from. If the deer come in a different direction you can quietly open up another window. But just have one window open and if you keep it so that the wind's not blowing in there it stays nice and warm in there and it really holds your scent inside there. I've had a lot of deer come to me from the downwind side being inside these you just got to have their correct windows open. And my overall review, I'd say I'd give them a six and a half out of a ten. So they're, they're a great value for what you pay for them, but you have to make modifications. You got to spend a little extra money, but it's still way under what you pay for a lot of the high dollar hunting blinds. And to me, spending a little less money on a budget I have really helps out. And in the future, I'm going to make more of these so I can scatter them out on properties that I hunt on for my buddies to hunt out of. So if you like what you're seeing in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share it in social media so other people watch it. Help build my channel up. Appreciate your time watching the channel. 
and good luck hunting.